Czech astrophysicist Jacob wakes up in his ship, thousands of miles from Earth. His day starts with a call from the flight curator and close friend Peter. Today, the people of Earth want to communicate with the hero. The head of the Czech space program, Tuma greets the brave pilot, as he has been on a solo flight for 189 days already. The thing is for four years. A mysterious cosmic phenomenon, which has been named Chopper's Cloud, has been observed from Earth. To study its origin and composition, Jacob was sent to Jupiter. In just a few days he will be able to take samples, which may help unravel the mysteries of the universe. The captain is asked questions, and suddenly a girl sympathizes with him, as he is the loneliest person in the universe. But Jacob assures her that it is not so. Yes, he is 500 million km away from Earth, but nearly half the distance has been covered, and he will soon return home. Moreover, his beloved wife, Lanka constantly supports him, with whom he is in direct contact through the latest quantum communication system, which is faster than the speed of light. So Jacob does not suffer from loneliness. TV takes a commercial break, where a cheerful Jacob praises the products of a generous sponsor, but the astronaut immediately frowns, and it becomes clear that he is a tired man who has not slept for a long time. Meanwhile on Earth, Lanka records a message to her husband, apologizing for leaving him because she is not needed by him, that the flight curator stops the file from being sent and passes it to Tuma. On the ship, Jacob repairs the toilet again grumbling at Peter, but the latter is more concerned about the malfunctioning cameras. He also notices the astronaut's tired look and advises him to get some sleep. Jacob asks to contact Lanka because she somehow does not respond to his calls, and he promises to find out the reason. The man begins training. When Tuma reviews his wife's message, the woman sincerely worries for the family and does not intend to pass this message to Jacob. Lanka is packing her things at this time and does not respond to her husband's messages. Distressed, Jacob drowns his sorrows and sweets and tries to Watching sleep. the approaching choker's cloud, at night noses from the malfunctioning toilet. Keep him from sleeping, he gets up unrested and even more tired, and looking at himself in the mirror, suddenly notices strange movement under his skin, and tentacles protrude from his mouth. Jacob is horrified, trying to pull something out of himself and wakes up. He starts the day on the treadmill, then prepares to equip the apparatus for sample collection. Half of the ship's cameras are out of order, and no one understands why. The thought of Lanka, who still does not make contact, disturbs him, and one day, Jacob suddenly hears an unfamiliar voice offering help, but Peter hears nothing of the sort. True, there is a chance that Jacob intercepted the transmission of the Korean mission, which started after the check but one. the language was not Korean at all. Later, the friend informs that Lanka went to her mother's, so she will contact her husband when she returns. Jacob calms down a bit and continues his work. He inspects the compartments and suddenly sees a huge, hairy spider in one of them. He closes the doors to the compartment and contacts Peter. But precisely in this part of the station, the camera has long been broken and he can see nothing. Jacob opens the doors, but the spider has not gone anywhere. Moreover, it starts a conversation, stating that it did not intend to scare the human. Then the astronaut locks himself in the airlock and informs Peter that he wants to decontaminate the ship. He gets into a spacesuit, says the password that triggers the system, and the surrounding space is filled with disinfectant, from the color of which reminds him of a summer morning, in the field where he and Lanka walked. But then the cleaning is over and Jacob emerges from the airlock. However, the spider hasn't gone anywhere. It informs him that the strange bath arranged for it by the human, did not harm it and suggest removing the spacesuit. It is not dangerous. Jacob reaches out to it but the spider dodges. Such is not the custom in its tribe. So it's better for the human not to do this. It is an explorer too who accidentally found Earth. It studied life on the planet for 3,158 years and even learned Earth languages but never understood the essence of the human soul. And when it met Yaku, it felt his loneliness and came here. Unable to accept what was happening, the astronaut hides in the sleeping compartment, 
but he immediately starts to vividly see and hear his wife. Jacob moves to the station's room, where Lanka appears before him again. It turns out the spider is broadcasting the human's memories because it is very interested in these strange feelings and it wants to help him overcome emotional difficulties since his companion is leaving. Jacob tries to refuse to help but the spider does not believe him. Meanwhile on earth Lanka arrives at her mother's because she is pregnant and cannot be alone. Nearby is a boarding house where pregnant women live together and she decides to stay there for a while. The mother does not understand her, as one cannot leave her husband, right now at the station the spider asks the astronaut to give it some of his food, and he treats it to nut paste, the taste of which reminds it of its lost home. Its planet was destroyed by an enemy attack, and it fled and wandered through space for a long time. This time on Earth Tuma goes to Lanka. The woman is convinced that the wife cannot leave her husband, right now after all. She knew he was a very peculiar person. These qualities help him stay alone for many days. But Lanka is pregnant and suffers from loneliness. The spider tells the astronaut that Chopper's cloud consists of particles that contain wisdom. It cannot say how old it is, but everything has a beginning and an end. Even the universe. The spider shows Jacob his first date with Lanka, when she suggested they always follow each other. And he agreed and he does not understand. Why make promises that you cannot keep? But Jacob has no answer later. He asked the spider to save some nut paste, and it reluctantly gives back the can. At this time on Earth, Lanka confesses to her mother that, although it is hard to raise a child alone, she is ready for it and, she will tell her daughter, that she loved her father very much, at first but was mistaken. And at the station, Jacob suddenly wonders about the spider's name, and suggests naming the creature Hanus. His father told him about a master, who lived in ancient times, who created astronomical clocks, for which the king ordered him to be blinded. The spider agrees to accept this name. Later the astronaut plays music from the opera mermaid, and explains what it is the spider. Immediately demonstrates his date with his wife, when she appeared before him in a naiad costume. But the man does not want to remember this. At night Jacob again has nightmares, this time related to his father, who was a communist and died because of his beliefs. But the spider comforts its friend. There is no need to worry about the past, as the universe is as it should be. Later Hanus watches in surprise as Jacob exercises, and Jacob explains that humans must do this in space. Otherwise their limbs could fail. Hanus doesn't understand why leave the home planet, then. At this time Tuma visits Lanka. The woman tries to reach out to the wife's feelings, but she does not want to return to the past. Then the head says she will not pass her message. And the whole point of the silence surrounding their talks, is that inside, they are together. Meanwhile, there are only 45 hours left to reach the cloud. And then Lanka's voice spreads through the station. Jacob rushes to the transmitter, and sees his wife's face on the screen. They talk about the past and the future, when he sees a glowing particle in front of him, which Harness calls the beginning. Jacob tries to catch it in a jar, but the particle freely passes through all surfaces. Suddenly the ship loses all communication, and then Chopra's particles start swirling everywhere. Hanus calms the human the beginning will not harm him. So there is no need to fear. It is a regular repository that cannot be described in human language. And then it asks why the arrival of a child so upsets Lanka. Because her feelings smell of fear. Jacob explains that they lost their first child, and he was not there then nor now. For what the spider shows Jacob their conversation. When he promised to be there, but he lied to his wife and she stopped believing him. Later Jacob finally gets through to Peter on the quantum phone. But Hannes again turns on the man's memories, where he and his wife discuss his journey. He was so confident, that he didn't even try to understand his wife. The spider realized that Jacob is selfish, and he is to blame for his loneliness. So it lost interest in him, and wants to leave. This causes a panic attack in the astronaut, who no longer wants to be alone. Jacob tries to grab the spider, 
but it itself presses the man's body to the bulkhead and reminds him that it preferred to communicate without touching. The spider lets the human go and flies to the other end of the station. Jacob desperately follows it, promising to change, and again sees Lanka in the guise of Anayud. He floats in zero gravity, remembering his wife and crying from the sense of realizing the loss. Then he calls Peter and asks him to visit the woman. The friend goes to the boarding house and hands her the quantum phone. Jacob talks about how he loves her and asks for forgiveness for his selfishness. Now he doesn't understand why he neglected the most precious. He wasted his life on nonsense and is not worthy of her. Immediately after the conversation, he hears Hannes's voice again asking him to rest. Because he has atoned for his guilt. Jacob asked not to leave him, and the spider admits that it too fears loneliness. But suddenly, the man notices that the spider is not feeling well, and it admits that although it escaped from the enemy, it was already too late they had taken him over his body. And suddenly, it hugs the astronaut for the first time in a long time. Jacob falls asleep deeply, and the spider has to wake him up, because a great discovery awaits him. It even brings him a tube of hot coffee to bed, after which the astronaut makes the final preparations. He contacts the Czech Space Authority, and reports that his mission is dedicated to all the people of Earth, but especially to Lanka. Afterward, he reduces speed and begins collecting samples using special equipment, but then the spider becomes very ill. Jacob abandons his task and tries to help his friend. The equipment gives an error, and Earth commands to cancel the sample collection. But Jacob hears nothing, because he sees heinous in open space. The ship systems fail one after another, and the control center orders to end the mission and return but Jacob puts on a spacesuit, takes a bomb, and goes outside. Peter can't understand what's happening and pleads with his friend to return to the ship. However, using the explosion to catch up with the spider, Jacob holds it heinous stanks him. But it's all in vain. Soon the enemies will consume him and Jacob. Looking at the surrounding space, remembers the day he almost drowned. Then his father saved him, and now he forgives all his father's sins. And forgives himself. Hanus pulls him to the center of the cloud, where everything is gathered, the beginning and the end, the fluctuation of all times, his past and future him. Is Lanka and his father every promise and punishment? Everything is unchangeable and impermanent. But such is the truth of nature. The universe is as it should be. Before the man Lanka appears again. And Jacob admits that their meeting is a miracle. Just like the meeting with the spider. Jacob hands his friend a can of nut paste. He saved for him. The latter thanks him and asks to listen to the silence. After which, it disintegrates into millions of particles consumed by worm-like creatures that destroyed his race. And Lanka on Earth suddenly sees a glowing purple particle in the grass. Night turns in today. Jacob in a spacesuit wades through a transparent stream, above which on a log sits Lanka in a mermaid costume, asking him to kiss her. Her face becomes the last thing he sees, at least for a moment because at that time, he sees the lights of a South Korean ship, which saves Jacob later. He calls his wife Lanka apologizes, and confesses that if he had known everything earlier, he would never have left, and she would kiss him once more. A fantastic yet lifelike film. A work absorbed astronaut. Had to be millions of kilometers away from his wife. And hear a sermon from an extraterrestrial being. To understand that, family is the most important thing in his life. And one can only hope that he will manage to regain his sense of purpose. Subscribe and activate the little bell for more videos. Give us your like, comment, and share.